and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love recipe videos like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious jam jar pineapple and mint crumble with homemade granola topping. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious jam jar pineapple and mint crumble with a homemade granola topping. Now this recipe is really easy to do but it is quite time consuming however the efforts are worth the results this is a really delicious sweet treat. I have to say my husband and I really enjoy this and I'm going to be making this so my husband can have it as an after lunch treat today but it could be made as a breakfast if you wanted to or it could be made as an after dinner sweet treat as well it makes a brilliant snack too so it's really versatile it's really delicious and while I was making it of course I thought I'd share the recipe with you so here is how to make my jam jar pineapple and mint crumble with a homemade granola topping. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 degrees. Now that my oven is preheating, I'm going to prepare to make the granola. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-line my baking tray. So I've just got a rectangular baking tray and I'm going to add a little bit of oil to the base of this tray. I'm going to spread the oil across the base and around the sides as well like so and then I'm going to put a piece of grease proof paper on top and I'm just going to make sure that it hits all the corners and then I'm going to add a bit more oil to the base of this. So I've got some sunflower oil but you can use any kind of oil you like for this bit really. And I'm just going to spread this around as well, like so, and make sure it gets up the sides and all over the base as well. And now I'm going to set this aside. Now I'm going to make my granola topping. So for this I have about 200 grams of gluten-free oats in this bowl, in this big mixing bowl. You don't have to use gluten-free, it's just I have a small gluten intolerance, so I always use gluten-free oats. And then in here I have 50 grams of brown rice puffs. If you can't get brown rice puffs, then rice krispies will be fine. Brown rice puffs are just um, simply the rice just puffed out, so that's all that's in them. But you could use rice krispies if you wanted to. And I'm just going to mix those together. And then I've got 50 grams of, uh, I was going to say pecans then, because I was looking at the pecans. I've got 50 grams of pumpkin seeds as well that I'm going to mix in. And then I've got about 100 grams of pecans that I've just roughly chopped with a knife. So I'm going to add those in as well. And you probably won't, you definitely won't need all of this granola for this crumble. But this does also make a delicious breakfast. Or again, another afternoon treat as well. Good afternoon treat for a kid. If you were looking for something a bit healthier to feed your children, then this is a great one. And then I've also got 150 grams of coconut sugar, or you could use brown sugar if you can't get coconut sugar. So I'm just going to add that in and I'm going to mix that around as well until everything is well mixed together. And then I'm going to use a teaspoon or two of ground sweet cinnamon as well. We really like cinnamon in this house. But I know there are a lot of people that don't, so it is optional. If you don't enjoy it, then obviously don't put it in. But if you love it like us, then put as much in as you like, really. Well, I'd say one to two teaspoons, probably. That's probably enough, I should say. Um, I should think, even. And I'm just going to mix these ingredients together. And now I'm going to add a teaspoon of... Uh, Vanilla extract. I'll get my words out at some point today, I promise. So I'm just going to add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And in this saucepan here, 
I have a hundred or about four heaped tablespoons of melted coconut oil that I've just melted down in the pan. So I'm just going to add the teaspoon of vanilla extract to those. I'm just going to mix that around a little bit like so. And then I'm going to pour this over the granola. If you live in a country where your coconut oil is um, already melted, then obviously you won't need to melt it. But I would add a couple of tablespoons more because you won't be able to heat teas tablespoon them if you see what I mean. So yeah, and now I'm just going to mix all of these ingredients together. And I'm going to try and make sure that I get all of the coconut oil covered in the ingredients in the bowl. So I want the coconut oil to cover all of the ingredients in the bowl. And I think that's nearly done. So I'll move on to the next bit now. Now that the coconut oil is covering all of those ingredients, I've grabbed my baking tray and what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the granola into the baking tray like so. And I'm going to flatten it out like so as well. And then I'm going to put this into the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. Oh no, probably about 20 to 25 minutes. And halfway through the process, I'll give it a quick stir because the top bit tends to get a little bit more burnt than the bottom bit. So I'm going to put this into my oven now. So this has had about 10 minutes in the oven and as you can see the top part has become nice and crispy and golden brown but the bottom is a bit, still a bit anemic. So what I'm going to do is just mix everything round again and try and get the bottom to go on the top and the top to go on the bottom if that makes sense. I hope it does. So some of the pecans that haven't browned I'm trying to pick up and put on the top. So I'm going to put this back into the oven for probably another five to ten minutes. I'd say probably five actually. And then I shall remove it from the oven and leave it to cool. The granola is a lovely golden brown colour so I left it in for five more minutes and that's it. So Depending on your oven, I'd, I'd say you probably only need about 15 to 20 minutes to cook the granola. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this out of the oven and I'm going to leave it to cool for a little while. Now that the granola is cooked and cooling on the side, what I'm going to do is start making the filling for the crumble. And what I've done here is I've put a large frying pan and I'm going to put this onto a high heat and I'm going to add uh, a couple of knobs of butter to that and I'm just going to let that heat up now. Butter has started to sizzle slightly in the pan so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my mint leaves so I've got about eight to ten mint leaves that I've just simply chopped up and I'm going to add these into the butter like so and I'm just going to make sure they're all covered in the butter like that and I'm going to cook these for a little while by tilting the pan upwards and letting the butter run down and cook the mint. And this will bring out the essential oil in the mint which will hopefully suck, um, soak into the butter. So I'm just going to do this for a few minutes like so. And then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons or a tablespoon of coconut sugar as well. So I think I'll do a tablespoon. I have only a teaspoon left in my cupboard, all the rest is in the dishwasher. So yeah, I'll have to do three teaspoons, which is one tablespoon. And I'm going to put this in as well. And I'm going to mix those together and make a kind of little paste, like so. That's perfect. So now what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to add my pineapple in. So I've chopped up one pineapple. I've removed the core. So I sliced off the skin, I removed the core, and then I just cut it into like chunks. So it's quite chunky pineapple crumble. That's what I should call it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and cover the sugar in the mint, the sugar and the mint, cover the pineapple in the sugar and the mint, sorry. So, and then I'm just going to continue to stir this now until it turns a lovely golden brown colour and kind of goes see-through as well. So the pineapple I could sort of smell was burning slightly, so I turned down the heat um, just to a medium heat because it was on high and I added a little bit of water as well to the base of the pan. But I think that is done now. So the pineapple has softened and as you can see it's gone a lovely golden brown colour. So it's kind of caramelised and it starts to go see through after a while as well. And it smells delicious as well. I can't wait to eat this. So I'm going to remove this from the heat now. Make this a jam jar crumble. I've gone to my cupboard and I've got some clean jars from my cupboard with lids. So this dessert is brilliant because you can also take it on a picnic or you could take it to lunch, uh, to lunch with you. You could take it to the office with you as well. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add some pineapple to the bottom of the jam jar like so and the great thing about this is as well you can have as much of this or as little as you want to as well so i'm just going to put a few more bits in here like so and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to add my granola topping now so i'm just going to break this up a little bit it all seems to have stuck together so I've got a spoonful of that and I'm going to put some of that in on top, like so. Oh, it smells so good. I just like to do that. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a spoon, hang on a minute. So then in this bowl here, I have some coconut cream and a couple of tablespoons of maple syrup as well. And I've left this in the fridge overnight, so it's gone hard but it's okay to eat still so i'm just going to add a couple of spoonfuls of the coconut cream and maple syrup on top and that is my jam jar crumble done that's how you make my delicious jam jar pineapple and mint crumble with homemade granola topping and that recipe i will link in the description box below for you as i mentioned earlier i'm going to give this to my husband for his dessert today and i think i'll be having one myself because it smells so good i can't resist so for now that's it from me Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.